Kamusta po kayo? My name is D, and today's video is all about an online appointment booking for the replacement of the Hong Kong Identity Card. A friend asked me to get an appointment for her. It's for Ate Fe. Hi Ate Fe! So I recorded the process because I wanted to share the video with you. Um, in case kailangan nyo rin po. As we all know, we needed to abide to replace our old ID for the reason that uh, the lifespan of the old ID is naglaps na yata. Okay? And then, the other reason that was given by the immigration is to enhance the security features of the card. And then, Gusto rin nilang enhance yung durability ng card. Uh, mainly for the purpose of enhancement of the card security. Para din po sa security ng personal information natin na naka-imbed po sa card. Okay? So, I have made a video. Uh, it's very easy. And I think it's clear enough. So, um, just follow through. Alright? So, let's start. Oh, yeah, that's me. My fake face. Charot. <laughs> okay. So, let's go to Google and then type online appointment booking for replacement of identity cards. Click on this one, this link. So, we will be directed to the website where we can start our appointment booking. In here, we can see who can use this service, and yes, including foreign domestic helpers, hindi lang po ang mga amo. Click on this thing, this green thingy, so we can start our application. So we have options here, we can make an appointment, inquire, or change, or cancel our appointment. Of course, we will click on that make an appointment. So, we can start, but first, declaration, take on that, continue. Alright, so in here, you will see the years, or the, the year na ipinanganak po kayo. Kapag naandyan yung taon na ipinanganak kayo, then you can make an appointment. Step number one, input your personal details. You just need your Hong Kong ID, and then the date in the year of your birth. Yun lang po ang kailangan natin. Alright. So, take note. Kailangan nyo lang po yung day and year. Hindi na po kailangan yung month. So, say for example, we will input December 5, 1962. Just go with the date, which is 5, and then the year 1962. Andun po sa taas. Alright. So, no need for December. Okay, type of booking is individual. And then, inquiry code. This is a four-digit number. You needed this one if you wanted to make changes in your appointment uh, later on. So, you have to make sure na ma-remember po nyo yan. Four digits number na yan. Verification code. Pwede mong palitan yung verification code kapag hindi mo mabasa. Continue to the next step. Alright, step 2 is select office. We have 9 branches where we can replace our IDs. Depende po dyan kung saan ka malapit. Okay, so it will also show you the earliest date. Now, if you don't want those earliest date, uh, you have the option to choose the date that you wanted. So, click on the other date po doon sa gilid. Okay, so in this case, I wanted to get an appointment that falls on a Wednesday. So, ang pinakamalapit dyan is August 12. Just click on the date. There you go. Step number 3, select the date in time. Okay, I wanted to get 10 a.m. But then, walang 10 a.m. So, 9.45 is okay. Continue. Step number 4, confirmation. I-check mo lang po lahat if your appointment date in time is correct. 
in then the office it gives you the exact address of the office and then there's uh, an option for you to locate the address my location map put on and then application nature you have to make sure that it's a replacement and then recheck your identity document number and then the date of birth continue or confirm i should say all right so step five last step acknowledgement check mo lang lahat yan kung lahat tama it should be tama and then you s you can also have or you can also check and save the transaction reference number and the qr code pwede mo siyang screenshot and then save on your gallery in case you needed it on your appointment date okay so that's it super easy let's give five to this service because it's very easy now i will show you how to inquire for your appointment dito po natin magagamit yung four digits inquiry code kaya dapat maalala mo yun so just go back from the start and then choose the inquire appointment just follow through input your hong kong identity card number and also the four digit inquiry code and the verification code Okay, so meron kang appointment. And ibig sabihin, tama rin yung nilagay mo na Hong Kong number mo. Okay. Same thing po doon if you wanted to cancel or to change your appointment. Just go back from the start and then uh, follow through. Oh, di ba? Super easy siya. Kaya kaya nyo ring gawin yun using your phone so long as you have an internet connection which I know lahat po tayo may internet connection. Uh, here's the thing though. You have to make sure na makapag-replace po kayo ng inyong Hong Kong ID base po sa call up periods kasi nga po yung schedule is based po sa year of birth po ninyo. So you have to be updated online just go to the website of Hong Kong Immigration about the smart identity um, replacement program. Um, I will put in the description below yung directa po na link para po doon po kayo mag-update mag ng inyong mga sarili. Kasi nga po, if you fail to uh, replace your ID, um, on the call-up period, na-miss nyo po, hindi, hindi po kayo nakapag kuha ng appointment or hindi kayo nakapag walk in, tapos na, tapos na, natapos na yung buwan na dapat ay na-replace na mo yung Hong Kong ID mo, you will be fined up to 5,000 Hong Kong dollars. That's more than our one month salary. Diba? So, at lahat naman po tayo may mga internet so it's very easy for us to update ourselves just go to google just go online and you're good to go alright so thank you so much for watching me <laughs> and watching the video uh, you have a blessed day and be safe be safe everyone god bless bye bye